Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited that you're here today. I have brand new product to show you from the new Stampin' Up! catalog. This product release has probably been my favorite here in the last few years. Um, there are so many pieces of it that speak to me and I just loved. So we're going to hop right in because this video is going to be long. So just get a cup of coffee. I've promised myself I'm not going to rush through. And those of you that want to sit with me the whole time, great. And those that have to check back later, I understand that too. So we're going to start with all the paper because that kind of takes the longest. And so I thought we would just get going with that first. So this is um, probably one of my favorite papers. I have like three favorite papers in this new catalog and this is one of them and it's called Whole Lot of Lovely. So in uh, Stampin' Up's paper, designer series papers, you get um, 12 sheets of paper and you get two of each design. So that's really handy for making multiple cards um, and it's very cost, you know, it, it's a good price for, for what you're getting. It's two 12, full 12, uh, 12 by 12 sheets. And then there, they have another, um, design on the back. So this one is one of my favorites because I really love these designs. Uh, a lot of these designs, uh, I could totally see wearing like a shirt with these designs or something like that. And I love the black. This probably wouldn't have been my favorite paper had they not thrown so much black in, but I love that black. It just makes it feel more fun and trendy and kind of youthful and bright. And so I just really love what they did with this paper. And you can you definitely see how you could use this paper for wedding, you could use it for baby, you could use it for friends. Um, I mean, it really has a lot of options. I got several packs of this because I knew I'd be using it in future card kits that I give away. Okay, so um, the second paper here that's definitely my top three favorite is the coffee paper. Again, you get two sheets of each. This one's packaged a little bit differently. For whatever reason, some of them are packaged where they put one of each sheet and then they do it again. And then some of them are packaged where the two sheets are together like this of the same. So if you get one that's like this, don't be alarmed. It's just packaged that way for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so these are really great prints. I thought, you know, these will make amazing masculine cards, first of all. And, um, but also great for your girlfriends or just sending fun thank yous to your person that ha loves coffee. And then these are the prints on the back. I absolutely love these prints. Um, the espresso beans, you would really only know that those are coffee beans if you're really looking at them. You could get away with using them for all kinds of things. In fact, I thought that they kind of even look like a macaroon or a macaron. So, um... So really fun. And then this is like a coffee paper that where you've set your coffee down and it makes a ring. But if you were using that on something that didn't have coffee on it, you would never know that that's what that is. So you could totally get away with using this in lots of different ways. And then let's just talk about these little bitty white hearts all over this gorgeous green paper. Look at this. Isn't it delightful? I love it. Love this paper. So that's another one I definitely, I ordered several because I know I'll be getting a lot of use. Okay, so the Naturally Eclectic is probably um, the low fella on my list as far as my favorites go. Um, I'm, if you follow me regularly, you know that I'm not a huge fan of florals, although I do love the whole lot of lovely. But um, this paper just doesn't really speak to me, this sheet specifically, but I like, I love this. So it's kind of a weird paper for me because there's there's some I'm, I don't care for and then there's some that I really love. So I'm just gonna show you all the prints and you can see here, this is the double up that I was talking about earlier. Like there's two sheets of the same together. I love this. Um, I don't know how I feel about the gems. They may have to grow on me. And this, I really cannot, I just don't, I don't have words, my friends. It's not, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. Okay, so there's these. 
And then on the other side, look at this. So this is what's fabulous about Stampin' Up! Paper. If you are not married to, say, this print, you could be married to this one. And this is, I love this. So it works out great. So I wouldn't have to stress about using this print because this print is there so I don't feel like I'm losing anything. Um, so yeah, fantastic colors, great watercolor wash um, on the backs of these that provide a, just a really great option for some really beautiful backgrounds. So I'm excited about those. And that's the Naturally Eclectic paper. Okay, this paper is a wow paper. This is one of the specialty designer series papers and it's escape, the name of it is escaping me right now. It's love, something love. <laughs> and I think the intent of it was kind of like baby and wedding. However, I don't think that you're married to that because, ha ha ha, no pun intended. Um, because, yes, you have all this pink and blue, okay, which is great if you're doing a baby shower. Holy bananas, you're set up. If you're doing a boy baby shower, look at all this blue that you've got. If you're doing a girl baby shower, look at all this pink you got. Or just even sending a gift um, or a card. But here's what made me squeal when I saw this. The whole other side is foiled gold. So I completely love this paper because that means that I have four sheets of this beautiful chevron, four sheets of this like, I don't know what that is, what pattern that is, but it's pretty. And then four sheets of this like viney looking stuff. And I could make boxes, I could do all kinds of stuff with this paper. And it's not limited to birth, or I mean, uh, baby showers and weddings. You could use this for birthday paper. You can use it for anything. I mean, you could use this for anything. It's just super versatile. So I was stoked about that because I mean, really how many baby-ish stuff do you have, right? Um, and this other paper, it doesn't have to be baby either. I'm just saying, I think that was the intent of the paper. Okay. So this one is gorgeous. This is our craft cardstock that's now foiled with um, shiny, gorgeous foiling. <laughs> and so there's, um, it's a specialty paper and there's two of each. And, oh no, yes, there are two of each. No, there's not. Okay, this, I forgot. This is one of each design. So there's like this kind of light blue, the Lemon Lime Twist, Pumpkin Pie, and then I'm not sure what color this might be Berry Burst. When it's foiled, it looks a little different. So there's polka dots in each, and then there's these fantastic stripes, which are, like I said, fantastic. And then there's chevrons that are kind of different chevrons. They're really not normal chevrons. Oops, I must be missing my pink piece. I must have, yep, I grabbed it up here. So then there's this really cool foil. So the other side of this is just plain craft cardstock. So if you were in a pinch and you needed some plain craft cardstock, you could totally use the other side of this. I've even thought it would be really cool to use this side to make an envelope and then when the person opens the envelope on the inside they're going to have this really gorgeous design on the inside. So that's a couple of options um, and then of course I'm sure this is going to make a fantastic gift giving. Now these are not all the designer series papers. You've seen me working with some of the other designer series papers already like the birthday memories with the little animals, um, the Eastern Palace with the kind of Moroccan fill. Um, and so I'm not showing you those today just because I didn't want to take up the time. And so you can watch some of my previous videos to see some of those. All right, this is more stuff from the release. I'm gonna zoom in, maybe, there we go. Okay, so this is the um, love today planner kit. 
and I'm not going to open this right now because I'm going to do a whole video on this for you this coming Friday. So make sure you tune back in on Friday to see this. Um, and I'm just going to put it all together and show you how I'm going to use it. And then there's these really cool bags. These are craft bags. They're striped treat bags is what they are. So I'm pretty sure... If I, yep, they're food safe. So Stampin' Up! always tries to make their treat bags and stuff like that food safe. So you don't have to worry about lining it with anything else. Um, and it's kind of got like a coating on the inside. So if you had something greasy, I bet it won't go through. Like cookies, you know, they have kind of like an oil. So these are super pretty. I, I can't wait to make gifts and goodies for my daughter's class. I usually do that every year when her birthday comes around. So I think I'm going to use those bags. So let's get a little bit of the nitty gritty out of the way here, shall we, friends, that you're dying to see. I know you are. Stamp sets. So I'm going to show them with their framelits. I have all my framelits open here because I'm going to be moving my framelits out of these containers and into what I keep them in. And I'll show you what that is in just a second. So let me find, here's the move me. Okay. So I thought, Hey, you know what? I'm just going to take advantage of this time with you and I'm going to put them in their bag. Phew, excuse me. Okay, I have Avery L five and a half by seven and three eighths pockets here. They come 50 in a pack. You can get these on Amazon. They're a really thick envelope. I'm going to pull a few out so that I don't have to keep making so much noise. They're a really thick plastic envelope. And this is what I keep my framelits in. So I pull out the framelit sheet. Now, normally I would put them on magnets. Unfortunately, I'm out of my magnet sheets, so I'm not going to be putting them on, on, on magnets today, um, but they will eventually be on magnet sheets. So I'm going to slip it in. You can see the, all the awesome die cuts that go with this, and there's going to be a video from me very soon on this because I'm so excited about this set. It's definitely a set you need to see put to use in order to appreciate it. And then I fold over the top and tuck it in. And then I put the label on it right here, and I'm going to be do using my label maker later today to label all of these. And then they're see-through, so I can see them. And when the, the once they're mounted on the magnet, they're just super easy to pop right off the magnet and back on. And then when I get rid of some framelits, um, I just preserve. I keep all of these so that I can put the framelits back inside their original packaging if they're ones that I'm going to get rid of. And then I'm able to. Um, I'm able to sell them or get rid of them or whatever, and I'm able to keep my magnet sheet so I'm not having to spend a bunch of money replacing magnet sheets, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's this set, which is amazing. I cannot wait to use it, like I said. All right, next up is Pocket Full of Sunshine. I love this set because um, I think it's going to be so super cute to make some cards with this little pocket and have um, money sticking out of the top of it, real money. Now there's a little die cut in here that has fake money in it, but I just can't wait to use real money sticking out of there and have it as a gift for somebody. I think that that's going to be a really sweet gift, something really fun that people will love. And I can see totally doing it um, for dads or for graduation that's coming up. So many people are graduating. In fact, I have a friend whose daughter is graduating at the end of June. So maybe I'll make that for her and then I'll have to um, just show you guys, do a video and show you what I make. Okay. This one doesn't have any framelits, a floral statement. It's one of my favorites. I love it. It's going to be super fun to watercolor and um, I'm just really excited about using this set really pretty floral statements another one of my faves is this little piggy isn't this sweet I just love this so I'm including a lot of little tips in this video and one of the tips I have for you 
is when you're mounting your stamps that are like this, um, I suggest, so you're going to pull off the backing, and then this is the sticker that will go on here. So instead of peeling this off and just sticking it right on, I take the time and I sit and I go around every single sticker and I trim really close to the edge of the sticker. Wendy, why would you do that? Okay, the reason is because clean stamps, for whatever reason, do not always clean. And I think it depends on where you live because I think the higher humidity that you live in, the better luck you have with this. And the drier you live, the more problems you have. I could be totally wrong, but um, I have a lot of problems with my stuff sticking to the clear block. So I peel off one edge first and I line it up and then I peel off the other side. And then you have this little rim going all the way around the sticker that's exposed. It exposes the sticky or the cling foam and it will stick much better to your clear blocks. Okay, so there's a little tip for you. And I'll put this little piggy right back in her spot. Love this stamp set. One of my faves, one of my faves. Okay, now we have another favorite bike ride. It's got all these great little pieces so that you can put together this little bike. You could put the doggy in it or apples, books. There's all kinds of options to do with this. And it has framelits that go with it so that you don't have to sit and cut all that junk out. This, uh, these are the build a bike framelits. So I'm excited about this set because um, I love stuff that has a bunch of little dies and you can just sit and make your own scene. Just so super fun to me. And so I was really excited about this set specifically. Um, and I think you're just going to be able to make so many cool, uh, you know, this could go birthday, this could go any direction. And there's no sentiments in this set. So you can mix and match some of the other cool stamp sets that you get in order to make your card or your project. All right, Coffee Cafe is definitely in my top five favorite because I love coffee and I love this ringlet set and stamp set. Um, this is definitely one that should be at the top of your list if you like coffee. Um, but if you don't, it's just very trendy right now and you can make some really fun, cool stuff. The thing about this is you're really not stuck with just coffee. You could turn this into a cupcake. You could turn this into a cup of hot chocolate and add just this to the top. Um, or you could add, add the ice cubes and make it iced tea. There's a straw here that you can decorate with the little, um, what are these called? <laughs> I don't know, stripes. And so there's lots of options with this set. It's try really hard not to think about it just being coffee because there's definitely other stuff that you can make with it. And you could just use other um, sentiments. Okay, let's move on. So this is a hostess set. Um, it's really cute. I love this and I'm really excited to use it. It will go, I think it's going to go good with a lot of the different DSPs. You can only get this set free with an order. You have to choose it as your host product. I guess it's really technically not free because you're using your host um, money to purchase it, but you, it's not a set that's available to just buy. So if you want to place an order of $150 or more, then you'll be able to get this set um, you featuring or using those Stampin' Rewards and you'll be able to redeem getting this. Okay, Message in a Bottle is another one of my favorites. I really love it and it's just, I think it's just going to be super fun to play with and do things with. You've got this cute little mermaid here, and you've got a little ship you can stick in there, and a whale, and then there's all these I love you sentiments, and it says, there's one that says get the message, so I think that's just so cute, some really cute stuff. 
Here's another host set that I was really excited to get my hands on, Tranquil Tulips. Um, it does not have a matching framelit set that I'm aware of. Maybe it does. I've seen a lot of people do stuff with this, but I think they're just hand cutting it out. I'm really excited to use this set. Okay, this set is probably, um, is what made my heart pitter-patter, I would say the most when I saw it, because I love um, animals, and these little animals are just to die for. I was so excited when I saw them. It was embarrassing, probably. But look at these framelits. What they do is they cut it out so that it makes a tag. But I am not just going to make tags with this. No, I'm not. You just wait and see all the fun stuff I'm going to create with this set. I just cannot wait. I wish that I had like four days where I could sit completely uninterrupted, nobody in my house, <laughs> like my husband and daughter could just go on vacation and I could just sit and create with all these new things for days on end. I would love that. I mean, I love them. Don't get me wrong, people. They're my, they're my people. I love them to death, but I'm sure you know what I mean if you're a crafter, um, especially if you're a crafter and you have little kids at home, then you definitely know what I mean. Okay, this next set is one that I really loved. I love all the sentiments, and I love that it makes this bouquet, and it has this fantastic um, framelit set that goes along with it to cut out all these little pieces. So this is definitely one that you're going to want to use when you're sitting around and have plenty of time to make a card um, and use it to its fullest. However, if you were wanting to make a really quick, simple card, this would be a great set also because it's got some just very basic stuff that you could stamp on a card with a sentiment. Like you could stamp this bouquet with some of these flowers on it and just stamp a sentiment next to it and you could be done. So I think we put too much pressure on ourselves to make everything that we do fabulous like it has to be elaborate and that's just not the case I mean the idea is right that we create stuff to share with other people because we love it and we want them to see um, how beautiful how much we love them by being the beautiful things that we make for them right okay so there's that set beautiful bouquet. All right, that's all the stamp sets and framelits I have, but I do have a few other things to show you. There are new miniature Stampin' Dimensionals out, and I love them. Look how tiny they are. Here's a little comparison for you. So I've got, this is the miniature, obviously, and this is regular size. So that's super fun. I've been waiting forever for Stampin' Up! to, to release something like this. So now I don't have to cut up my dimensionals anymore. All right, I've got these fantastic bows. So I'm really bad in the catalog about just seeing something that's really pretty and not paying very close attention to details. So when I got this package of bows, I was like, I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, look how many there are. I was so excited because I figured it would be this little container and there would be like eight or nine of them, 10. There's 45 bows in here. So I'm super excited because they did um, silver and gold. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of these and just stock up for Christmas time too and just have them in my stash to use for giving gifts. But yeah, I just love these. So cute. These are the new wood elements. I forget what they're called but look how cool they are. They come on a sheet. There's six sheets in this pack and they come on the sheet and then you just pop them all out and take them apart. Isn't that neat? And you've got kind of this very natural wood on one side and then the other side has really cool kind of like burnt edges or designs and um, I think this is just gonna be super fun and so simple, right, to, to use. I definitely can see us um, having some card kits in our future that will feature a sheet of these. So stay tuned for that. All right. Here's a really cool punch. I already had the stamp set. I got it at the on stage event um, in San Diego. This punch punches out 
a little tab. Look at that. So you can secure this little tab piece and then you have this little area to write on. And so I was excited about that. And I already have the stamp set, but I forgot to bring it in here to show you on the video, of course. Because I always have to forget something. That's kind of my, my MO. All right, let me show you this other stuff. We now have embossing paste, palette knives, and these are really fantastic masking sheets. So look at these. We've got brick. And we've got the clouds. I love this. Little clouds. And look at this one. I just was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. And then these really cool little diamond patterns. So all really fun, cute. They're going to make great embossed um, stuff. <laughs> And then this is what the embossing paste looks like. It has this little sealer on top. And then um, your embossing paste. You can see I've already dug around in there. And I leave this little thing on here because I want extra protection to keep it wet moist so it's not doesn't dry out. All right. And um, it's just white. And so you can add color to it if you want. And I'll be doing that in future videos. You'll see. And then these are the cool palette knives that you can purchase also that will work with the embossing paste. Okay, so I'm so excited about that product. I bought a whole bunch of those. These are the little felt bows. You've probably already seen these because these came out in a pre-order for demonstrators, but they're really cute. They're worth showing again. These are the eclectic shaped paper clips. So these are really fun. I love them. Um, I'll definitely be stocking up on a whole bunch of these. And I just really love the shapes of all of them. There's like a little leaf, a banner, and then a triangle. And they're in fun colors. All right, next up is the new corrugated tag elements. What are these called? Let me see, corrugated elements. So they're just little teeny tiny die cuts. This is a tag, it's got a hole. And these are featured with the coffee suite of products. So you can imagine how cute these will be on little coffee cups and stuff. So super cute and you could use either side. One side's corrugated, but the other side's just flat craft. So you could stamp on that and use both sides. Very cute. All right, I got some washi tape, which I did not really need, but I thought, you know what? Hey, what the heck? I've got to get some washi tape. So I got that, and I got these two. So those will be fun to use on stuff. And then I've got a whole bunch of ribbon here, and I probably am just going to make this fairly quick. Um, but there's new in-color ribbon, and there's this fantastic gingham ribbon, which I love ging the gingham print. Um, this is a great Bermuda Bay chevron print. It's gorgeous. Let me get the other ones. Got some fresh fig here. Um, this is a navy color. I forget. Dapper, is it Night of Navy or Dapper Denim? Night of Navy. This black um, ribbon is kind of shiny. It's got little specks in it of shine, so that's really fun. And then just some more Tranquil Tide and Powder Pink. And then, of course, my fave, Lemon Lime Twist. Okay, guys, that's everything. That was my first haul. There'll be many more hauls coming your way. I did it in almost under 30 minutes. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure you come back on um, Wednesday for my live YouTube event. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.